Hi, my name is Laura Killam. I am a nurse researcher who helps students make sense of complex information and create amazing research papers. I am going to show you how to captivate your reader so your paper or proposal will be the absolute best. In this video, I am going to talk about making the research problem clear. If you are watching this, you probably already know that you need a problem statement. But did you know that articulating your problem statement may actually be the most important step for justifying your research purpose? Clearly articulating the gap in current knowledge logically leads the reader to how your study will contribute to existing knowledge. This gap is broken down in the background section by critiquing previous research. But you also need to make sure you explicitly outline the gap in a problem statement. Your goal is to make it clear enough that anyone will see the problem the way you do. Make sure you understand what the problem is before you start to write. In order to create a logical argument to study an issue, you need to know what the problem is. Your problem should be interesting, clinically significant, and feasible. If you aren't sure what the problem is, talk to people in the field because they are in the best position to identify meaningful issues in need of study and ask important questions that will impact outcomes. If you pick a problem that aligns with the needs of an organization or funding agency, you're more likely to get funding. If you do some reading about how to write a problem statement in research reports or proposals, you will see authors talk about two key places to make your problem clear. Write before and or write after the background section. A general problem statement should be found in the introduction section of a paper. Tell the reader why the topic matters. This statement will lead to the background or literature review, which examines the scope and magnitude of the issue in more detail. The purpose of placing a problem statement in the introduction section of your paper is to catch the reader's attention early. Your teacher may call this part of the paper or proposal the significance of the issue. Before you start to write, let's look at what a problem statement actually is. The problem statement needs to identify something that is not known, but that is possible to find out. A problem, by definition, is something that is wrong or needs close attention. In research, it is a gap in knowledge that you need to fill. Be sure to pick a problem that you can solve, at least partially. Throughout your background, you have been critiquing gaps in previous research. Now you need to be sure they know what the problem is that your study will be addressing. At the end of the literature review, a specific problem that your study will address should be clearly articulated. This statement needs to clearly lead to your study purpose. It is a specific problem statement which clarifies the research gap at the end of the background section. The problem should be stated in one clear question or sentence. Before you state the problem, you should start by recapping what you just told the reader the current state of the knowledge is about the topic within your discipline. Think of this sentence as the lead-in to the problem. Now comes the critical step of articulating the problem that your study will then help to solve. The actual problem statement serves as a clear transition from the literature review to the study purpose. Your purpose or research question will help to solve your problem. Therefore, the problem statement and the research purpose need to support each other. By the time the reader reaches your purpose, they should already have an idea what it will be and know why it is important. It is also helpful to state the consequences of either filling or not filling the gap in knowledge. If you establish the importance of the issue for your audience here, your proposal will be more likely to get the attention of other researchers, key stakeholders, or funding agencies. By clearly articulating your problem, the reader will have a clear understanding of why your study is needed. The next logical thing to do is present your research purpose. Articulating the problem statement is a difficult task. Like the purpose, you should revisit, critique, and revise it several times throughout your proposal or paper writing process. Every time you make a decision about the study, ask yourself if what you are doing helps to solve your problem and answer your question. Thank you for watching. Be sure to visit my channel for more helpful paper and proposal writing guidance. Subscribe for updates when new videos are released. Please comment below if you have any questions or comments 
I love hearing from you.